and we're here with uh, George Ivanov, 157 pounder from Nebraska, Omaha, and uh, by way of Bulgaria. And just you said you came here five years ago. Just tell us a little bit about how that transpired. Um, yeah, I came here almost five years ago. Uh, I came uh, mainly for uh, college, and uh, I went to high school in Lewis Central, Council House for a year, and uh, UNO recruited me, Coach Denny. And I gladly accepted. And, yep. and when you first came to UNO, you were projected as a lighter weight wrestler, maybe like a, was it 125 when you started yeah, out? Yeah, uh, my senior year I wrestled at 119, and the uh, coach recruited me as a 25 pounder. But, uh, <laughs> had a little growth spurt, huh? Yep, yep. A year after that, I was a 57 pounder. So. And had a great freshman year, got to the finals last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, finished second in Omaha now, ranked number one, I believe, in the country. And just what did you learn from that experience that can help you this year? Uh, well, the guy kind of came out of nowhere. I've never seen him before that, so that was a good lesson for me to not overlook anybody and uh, just wrestle one match at a time. How, how do you your experience in the United States? How's it gone so far? It's going great. It's going great, just school and uh, practice. And jumped, joined a pretty good program at Lewis Central and obviously at UNO and guys all around you that are ranked high. I mean, what's it like in your room? Pretty good intensity, I imagine. Yeah, it is. It's great. We feed off each other. We learn a lot from each other. <coughs> wrestle great. And the team has had a little adversity. You lost your heavyweight and your 25-pounder, but it looks like guys have really stepped up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys have stepped up. Uh, we have a freshman at 25 that's replacing Terrell. He's doing great. And uh, our heavyweight is doing great also. Uh, Taylor has community is and, and you guys lost a dual meet to St. Cloud. How how did yeah. you guys bounce back from that? That was we knew it was a kind of a lucky deal for them because we uh, forfeited one twenty five and our thirty three pounder got pinned after winning three zero the match. So we didn't really worry too much for that. We just it was just unfortunate. How how anxious are you for this tournament after getting to the finals last year? I'm not, it's just <laughs> just another match, one match at a time. Right. How how well can this team do? A qualified 10, you guys wrestled well in the regional. Well, I think we've shown already what we can do. Two years in a row, we're going for a third national title, so I think we can do it. What what was it like last year being a part of that team that won it? It was great. Uh, coach always tells us we'll make history, so I'm glad I'm part of it. Tr transitioning to folk style, did you wrestle a lot of freestyle or Greco? Probably, probably more Greco being from Bulgaria. No, what I wrestled free freestyle. Was that was that a pretty tough adjustment switching to folk style? Yeah, I mean it was, but after I wrestled 55 matches my senior year in high school, <laughs> kind of adjusted to it. So it's been great since then. Just can't lock your hands, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, what? Uh, how do you approach it? You said like one match at a time. Is that mm -hmm. just just the basic approach going in? Yeah, one match at a time. Not get taken down. You can't lose. So. Yep.